Uh, we're down in uh, what's called Sheer Wall, the Sheer Wall part of Marble Canyon, and we're going through big, big massive sandstones of the Supai group, red colored because very oxygenated environment where the sandstones were deposited. Uh, you can see through some of the dark desert varnish that there's some cross bedding indicating current flow probably within a braided river. Uh, big massive resistant walls of sandstone really hard to erode and so they form uh, pretty near vertical cliffs. Um, the world is a very different place 350 million years ago when the supai was being deposited. Uh, for one thing the world was amalgamated into a single supercontinent called Pangaea. Uh, Africa had collided with uh, Eastern North America and the ancient Appalachians were raised to like Himalayan heights. Uh, South America and Africa were tucked in under the south end of North America. Australia and Antarctica were tucked in down deep in the high southern latitudes. And uh, it was a very different phase. There's mountain building going on all around the planet at this time and we see this in Eurasia and Africa, South America. Uh, the consequence of the Continent is all being accumulated down among the high southern latitudes was such that um, huge continental ice sheets formed as well and those ice sheets would wax and wane. They're kind of analogous to the ice sheets on Greenland today or Antarctica. But every time those ice sheets would grow, they would grow from sort of Antarctica centered over the South Pole up into South America, up into South Africa, over into Australia. And we see the deposits from those glaciers today in rocks of this age. Uh, and every time the glaciers would grow, the water would cycle through the hydrologic cycle out of the world's oceans to build those glacial ice sheets. And so sea level would fall and we'd get these continental deposits like what we're seeing now. When the ice sheets would melt due to natural climatic variations, probably astronomically induced, that's a whole other story, uh, when the glaciers would melt, the water would go back into the world's oceans, sea level would rise, the coastline would migrate landward onto the continents, and we'd get more submarine types of deposits. So you get this alternation of big continental deposited sandstones during glacial phases when sea level is low, and sort of finer grain marine shales when glaciers have melted, sea level is high and sea levels transgressed onto the continents. So this whole story of the Supai group <laughs> reflects what's going on globally, not just what's accumulating here locally in what future northern Arizona. It's reflecting things that are happening thousands of miles away down in the high southern latitudes. And we happen to be floating through it at this moment in time. Kind of bizarre story, huh? Ha, ha, ha.